Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick trick today on how to modify just a cheap switch. So I've got a box of switches here. So let's just see what have I got. So here's a uh, so here's just an old Atlas. Um, this is an Atlas uh, number four right. Custom line, nothing nothing too expensive. Just a cheap old number four so I'm going to show you what we're going to do here try to get my camera set up there you go so all we need for tools we need a pair of needle nose we need a pair of side cutters and we need some way of using for a drill of some sort so I have one of these and it's just like a little it's like a little brace and bit um, set up although mine's got a mine's got a tooth issue right there so it's got kind of a little skip when you're drilling with it but uh, it works really good anyway so what we're gonna do let me see if I can do this now on camera so what we want to do is we want to take the switch and you hold it just like that and you want to find roughly where the middle is so you kind of eyeball it sort of like that see how see how the hole for the switch is pretty much centered the points are pretty much centered so what we want to do is take that and you want to eyeball that across so from there over to here with the drill and you want to drill a hole pretty much directly across from that in the center like that and I just start going like this first I just turn the whole thing once I get it started then I just give it a few turns and then I just finish it off by twisting until the drill is all the way through see that and then I just pull the drill out. So now we have we have our holes. See our holes lined up there? And they're pretty much right in the middle. So now we're going to set that switch aside for one sec. I'm going to pull out our little dish. Oh, look at that. One fell right out. Paper clips. Just regular old paper clips that you would buy at the the store and we're interested in the outside edge of that paper clip so the larger part so we take our side cutters and we're going to cut this off pretty much right where right where that inner one stops see that so we're going to cut them off right about there and then you want to take this part you set him aside we could use that for, for other parts now we're left with the outside portion of the paper clip we're going to come up here you want to take take a pretty good size section of it so maybe I don't know not not quite a quarter of an inch maybe maybe close to a quarter something like that so you want to grab that in your needle nose I don't know if you can see that in there and then you just want to bend this to a 90 degree. Oops. There, see that? Now we want to grab the other one. And we want to roughly do the same thing. See that? We want to take and just bend him. Okay, so now we have both of them there. They're pretty close to being 90. So now you can see on the end, it's hard to see, but see how they're kind of twisted in? So you just want to kind of take your, your needle nose and you just want to, you get that in the center of the video, you just want to straighten them up. Just so that they're, they're pretty much parallel to one another. See that? 
Now you'll notice that I made one a little bit longer than the other. So there's one that's a little longer than this one. So now what we want to do, this is where the magic happens. So now we take this guy, so we take our switch back over here, and we take the one that's a little bit longer, and we want to put him through the hole that we drilled from the back. It can be a little bit tricky at first because the hole is like pretty much the same size. Let me just get this in there. A little. There we go. So you just push him through. Now you'll see that our paper clip is a little bit wider. Let me just see if I can move this back. See? So the paper clip is a little bit wider than where the hole is on the switch. So now what we want to do is just spring the clip. So you just want to squeeze it a little bit in the center part of the switch. Now we shove the two of them in. So see, that's that's through both holes. And now we set them down flat. Now this is the now this is one of the key parts of this whole thing. So you see how we have this guy that's sticking up. So this is the longer one that we had that we had left. You want to hold it down good and firm against the table so that nothing can nothing can move. You want to grab this guy here and just give him a little bend this way. See that? Well, if you can see that now, but now we've got a little bit of a, a twist to this guy. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold that paper clip in place. Now, let's test it. See that? And now all we want to do is we want to take our side cutters. Let me see if I can do this on the camera. You want to come down in reasonably close, not not too not too cl close to the bottom. So we want to leave a little bit sticking up, and then you just cut that off. Okay. And then we want to do the same thing with this guy up here. You always put it off to leave a little bit extra. And then we cut him off. So now we have kind of hard to see. We have our paper clip in place. So now to mount that onto the layout, um, I use foam in my layout. So now I just got to cut. I just when I put the switch down, I mark a little spot in the back on the on the foam and I just cut that out a little bit with the knife and then that's it and I'm going to take you over to the layout and I'm going to show you how that works so here we'll take a jump over to the layout now this is still all in progress let's just look here this is the head of uh, the head of what I call feeder yard which is in uh, Ontario. So you'll see here, these are all number four, repurposed number four Atlas switches. These all came from an old layout that I had. And you'll see that I have the paper clips in all of them. See that? Paper clips there, paper clips there. Now let's see how well they work. So let's grab this guy. Listen to that. We'll go to this next fella. And that really gives you the ability to manually run your switches. So here's a number six here at the back. So let's just see how this one works. Look at that. Same thing. So now here's here's the real kicker. So let's go down here. So in this area back in here, this will be at some point this will be a, a uh, like a dock, like a pier, and this along the front here will be a retaining wall and this little bit of 
plywood that sticks out here will actually have water, you know, and then the then the facer board will be on there. So if we come in here, what I did, since there'll be no large, this will be all small, small shunter uh, engines and small cars, tank cars, you know, short box cars, whatever. Um, so what I did in here is I had, I had like a couple of boxes of of Atlas Code 100 uh, snap switches. So these are just your cheap old snap switches and I thought you know what I'm gonna put them in here because it gives me lots of uh, functionality it gives me a nice shunting uh, puzzle but it also uh, works just as well on these guys as it does on everything else so look here's just a cheap old Atlas snap switch listen to that let's come down in here another one right here like it works perfectly no matter what so when anybody tells you that you have to have expensive track expensive switches don't listen to them it just takes a little bit of time a little bit of patience so let's just test this now so I've got the switches set so I get that one and that one now let's just see. These are these are just regular old tank cars. I haven't weighted them yet. They just got they still have the plastic wheels on them. Like there's nothing fancy done to these cars yet. Now every car on my layout will have all metal wheels and they'll all be weighted accordingly. So let's just see how these work through the switches. So look at that. That's going through a switch back. And look how well that works. No problems there at all. Now let's go over here. We'll just push this in by hand. We'll, and see that? Look at that. Now let's flip the switch. Let's go in there and we'll grab that box car. Look at that. And when you're running a locomotive through this nice and slow at a scaled speed, it works perfectly. So let's just set this switch and let's set this guy. Yeah, he's already set. So let's just push that box car down through there. See how it works through this short little S turn. Look at that. No problems at all. So there you have it. You don't have to spend a ton of money you can you can make even the cheapest switch from atlas work reliable and as long as you you know make sure that your cars are gauged properly uh, you know weight them well it, these aren't even done yet but but once you do you'll have zero troubles with these switches because the because it holds the points so tight there it's hard to see but it's holding them so tight against the rail. Look at that. There's like no chance of that not following that switch. And then if you really have to, you can always, if you if you really were having any issues, you could really file that point really thin if you wanted, but you don't need to. Trust me. Works every time. Thanks for watching.